Hey guys, so uh, welcome back to another video. Um, so today I'm going to be unboxing and uh, installing this Garmin Striker for Fish Finder. I'm not sponsored by them, but um, actually before I get into the box, let me show you guys some of the features on this thing. And I really do think that this is going to be one of your best budget fish finders. Um, it comes with... Comes with GPS, chirp sonar, which sends more frequency through the water. It's a three and a half screen, and it's got IPX7, which I think is water damage. So, if your boat, literally, you can put this on a kayak, and if you flip over your kayak, the thing would still be fine. So, uh, sorry about this seat here. Didn't see that. Um, but yeah, it can go up. It can. It has two things. It's got a 77 uh, kilohertz, and then it's got a 200. Yeah, it's got a 200 kilohertz. So that's not bad. All right. But, yeah, that's not bad for that. Um, so now let me unbox it for you guys. So you're going to open it up. Oh, it says what it is here. It says protective cover. Oh, this is x -trees. Kayak in haul transducer mount. So if you guys got a kayak. Um, yeah. All right. So then it comes with this cable, which I think this is going to be our power cable. I am not positive on that one, so do not quote me. But I think this might be our positive power cable. I do not know. I will look at the instructions. Um, then you got uh, some, like some mounting stuff and wiring stuff. Then you got your actual train or a uh, head mount. It's just a oh, shoot, litter in today. It's just one of these little things here where you can just just spin that, I guess. Oh, okay. It's just a little guy. I'm going to stick it back in the bag so the bag doesn't blow away. Because for some reason, I've been... Here in uh, Northern Virginia, we got some bad winds, at least. In no or in uh, of where I'm from. Or where I'm at. So, uh, it's... So, this is a transfer mount transducer installation instructions. So, this is for installing it on your trans... Or on your, um, oh no, this is for transom mount. This is for your, um, that right there is your thing to mount your, uh, your, uh, what is this thing called? Your transducer, which I will pull out here, show you, which is this. This is your guys' transducer. This is what it should look like. To come, I think it comes with 15 foot of cable. Um, and then you have the actual Garmin fish finder right here. This is the fish finder. Looks like all the controls right here. All right, so let's get in to installing it. All right, guys, so let's do, let's figure out where we're going to mount this thing. So of what you guys do to get it on here, you guys are going to just take and just push that into there's a little indent there. You just take this, push this in, and then there's this little thing here. You push that. There you go. Now it's locked in. Now you can spin it to towards you. And and taking out this compass and putting it right there. Like it might fit there. I do want to get rid of this compass anyways. So let's pull off this compass and I'm going to see if it'll mount here. Alright. Now, let me pop this thing out. It looks as if. Alright. Alright, there we go. Oh my gosh, there's wires through this. Why do you need wiring to that? <laughs> I 
Hopefully I can do that. And why are there wires to this friggin' Well, I cut them with a the screwdriver. Guess that works. Um, just put those back down there. Oh, that looks way better already. Jeez. All right, let me set you up here. Oh yeah, that'll fit perfect. Right there, boom. That'll look good. All right. So now I can set that in there like that. Now, whenever I'm driving, I don't have to look far. Oh, uh, also, I think I cut. Whenever I was. Um, whenever I pull, I change out my motors. This mo this boat comes with a, uh, with a, uh, 150. I got a, uh, 40 on it. And the thing runs fine. But the old motor, whenever I was pulling it out, I think I disconnected my, um, my fish, or not my fish finder, my speedometer. And now, my speedometer doesn't work. So probably I'm just gonna buy a new one of those. Um, but yeah, so let's get into putting the thing actually on. I feel like we've done more than put it on. This video is gonna be like 20 minutes long. All right guys, so the way that you're gonna be able to mount this, there's a little piece there that you just pull up on. You just pull up and then, no oh shoot, come on. I just did it. You pull up and then you just slide back. There you go. Now this is the piece that you're actually going to be mounting, but I need to actually make sure that I'm not gonna mount it too far back. So we're gonna say probably right there. So we're gonna say we will line it up with about that piece at that hole there, which I think actually, let me look at this hole. I can go all the way back to there. That's where I'm gonna go. Okay. So that is going to line up with uh, the thing there. Um, so we will do that there. Right there. Boom. Now, let me go grab my drill so I can screw this thing down. And then we'll get into basically wiring and mounting my transducer, which is still gonna take off my old transducer. I got a lot of wires down here. Don't mind those. These are all going to be fixed. But I kind of had a, uh, but I kind of, uh, went and decided that I was going to get my navigation lights working, my billet, and then my live well. Alright guys, so now it does come with screws for this. They're right here. Um, they come in the bottom of the box. Mine were not in any bags. Like they were just in this bag, but they were at the bottom of the box. And so I'm going to get my first screw in. And it does not matter which hole you start at. I'm just starting at this front hole, just cut. Um, actually, how hard is it going to be to get to my back hole? That's there. And I, uh, yeah, all right. Now is the real deciding factor. Which way do I want this thing to be? Do I want it there? Right here. And where we want it. Now that's what you guys can do. Is you guys always got to make sure that it fits where you want to put it. Alright guys, and I'm going to tell you something. This back foot I bought with my own money. Uh, this is not my, not daddy's money or anything. Every single thing that has been bought on this boat has been me. I mean, 
mean other than like the boat parts that came with it. But like the motor, I sold my John boat and bought that. And then I, my other motor did that. This fish finder, bought that fish finder, bought this fish finder, bought these lights, bought the navigation lights, bought that seat, like bought all the batteries. I bought everything for this. My parents have not paid a dime. So, that's why I'm using a cheap old fish finder. Because I don't have that much money, and I'm about out of money, actually. Alright. So now you know that you got your fish finder where you want it. You're going to pull it off. And now that's good. Now, you guys got to run your wires. Now, I think positive, I think these wires are accessory wires these ones here these uh blue and brown i'm pretty sure those are accessory so i am going to wrap those up all right guys so i looked it up pretty sure it's a uh an accessory so i'm gonna drill a hole back there all right so i'm gonna drill a hole back here so i can run all my wires through that and then it'll all be back behind this so you won't be able to see them and I'm going to actually store my battery, which is right here. I got this little battery. All that is is a 12-volt, 8 amp. That's all that you need, really. And I'm going to store that just under here. And uh, this battery has not has been sitting in my room for probably three to four years. So let me go grab my drill so I can get the hole drilled. All right. I like there's fiberglass under that, so we're gonna grab this rag of mine, which is a t shirt, and just wipe that all off the boot. Get all that off, and there you go. Now that we drilled the hole, now I'm gonna test fit to make sure that all my wires fit down in here. Just cause, oh, that's, whoo, it's not good whenever your first wire that you test fit doesn't fit, cause that's gonna tell you, the rest of your wires ain't gonna fit. So you need to widen up your hole a little bit. Like that should be good. Now let's see, will the front of this fit in there? Yes, it will. Should leave enough space. Now you're going to wipe away whatever's on your boat, at least I am. And now you're going to you stick it up. Now I have that up and under, and then there's this little. Now that's going to be our power cable drain down to the bottom. It actually fell through. Um, so we'll stick that up and we'll pull it all the way. All right. Now I'm going to try to get my uh, transducer cable up here, which. I gotta tell you guys something. I hate running cables like these. Like, just cables in general, they suck. Just cause there's so much into them. It's not just running a cable. It's like, especially wiring, like there's like 10,000 different things that you gotta do. Like that hole's not big enough now, which I thought it was going to be. Now I got a wide enough. Now hopefully it's wide enough for two of these cables to be up in here. Up in here. There we go. Now it's just wide enough for that to happen. And now since we have that there, we're going to pop on my fish finder. <clears throat> just kind of like as a rough area. And then, actually, let me show you guys something. So on this fish finder, you guys got a power and a transducer cable. The R or the X, 
uh, the CR, that's your transducer. This is your power. Your power is going to be the one with the red end. So you're going to want to plug that thing into power. Alright, hold up. The little piece at the bottom. Alright. And now this one should plug in right to your power. Alright. Or to your whatever that thing is called. Alright. Now that you guys have that, I'm going to pull my cables down. So then they're nice and all in there. Alright, now the way that I think I'm actually going to pull this one through is I think back in the transducer, I'm actually going to go, actually, before I put this transducer in, I'm going to tell you guys something. If you guys already have a fish finder on, and you guys are replacing your old fish finder, take this trans, take your old transducer, or your fish finder basically, your transducer wire, And if you guys are feeding it to the same battery, do that. But if you guys are um, running a whole new to a different battery, um, just feed your wire through that. So we're Alright guys, so all that I did was I just put a bolt through this old one, worked good and put some silicone around it. Now, we're going to go up um, front here and we're going to set the battery in and we're going to set it up. And uh, Actually, I'm going to just push this battery in under this dashboard, under this dash. We'll push it all the way back. And... Uh, That's gonna end it for this video. Next video, it'll be setting up the fish finder. So, uh, if you guys like this video, like, subscribe. I haven't been posting in a while, but hopefully this week and I should get you guys a video. Um, if you guys wanna watch some videos in the meantime, um, you guys can go watch at Bad Bass and Boys. We have, it's uh, me and a couple of my buddies. Um, we do some fishing and stuff and uh, yeah. So I would go there and check out that. Uh, Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'll see you guys next or whenever I'm setting up this thing or whatever video you guys watch. So, peace.